you're watching Bella, your daily magazine talk show for women. But today it's very, very special because obviously us women, we just can't just live alone. We need the male species to complement us in a lot of ways. So with that, we've got a male guest host. Um, he's a sportsman. He's a host. He's an actor. He's um, single but not quite available. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Elaine. As we say, men are from Mars and women are from Venus. That's right. That's the basically the topic or the, the title of the show, Mars versus Venus. I mean, it's not so much um, trying to compete with each species, mm. but, you know, the likes, the wants, the dislikes and all that of each gender, I suppose. And, you know, what the public thinks and what uh, the people who we interview think about the show. <laughs> Now, to settle this issue and, and make things a bit more balanced, uh, we've, we've got another uh, guest on, uh, on Bella, and that's the managing editor of August Man, Mr. Ruben Koo. Um, and we'd like to uh, invite him on our show as well. Hey. Morning, guys. Hi, Ruben. Morning. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. No. Nice suit you have on. Thank you. He's the, what is it, a man's man. the nicest things ever. Now, from a uh, perspective of an editor in a reputable men's magazine, which is August Men, how has the trend been in terms of writing for the male population out there? Um, you know, is it is it all still about tools and gadgets and cars and you know? We're the, still talking about sports. It's yeah. still a male dominated. Uh, is much, everything becomes? Or is it softer? <laughs> No, I think it's pretty much the same. I think uh, some of the most obvious stereotypes are when you talk about the way you handle a women's magazine and the way you handle a men's magazine. When we do a men's magazine, it's always about content. Right. And we're always talking about uh, stories of substance, politics, economics, mm -hmm. sport, uh, achievement, achievement-driven. Uh, I seldom worry about things like relationships. Very alpha male. Yeah, very alpha male. Okay, okay, got uh, it. What we, we, we consider to be masculine characteristics. We feature sure. women as well, but maybe I sound biased when I say that. We feature women who exude masculine characteristics, mm. of which Elaine was one of them <laughs> that we featured as well. I have masculine characteristics? When we talk about masculine <laughs> characteristics, we're talking about qualities associated mm. with men. Just very curious, do you have... Um, uh, I mean, uh, subscribers or, or pe people out there who write, I mean, men out there who write in to ask questions about relationships and, and whatnot. Actually, we don't really get very often, but I got one recently which was quite funny. And it's about how his girlfriend keeps telling him how ugly he is oh, and no. how he does so badly. And thank God for the magazine now he's learning how to groom himself better. And but my reply was, I think you should be out of that relationship. Yeah, I think so too. If you're listening to this, no girl should tell you you're ugly. Right, before we move on to uh, our next question, let's have a look at this quote that we've uh, prepared for. Coming from the very popular Barbara Streisand, you know. Well, I, I do like the quote, it says, How I wish we lived in a time when laws were not necessary to safeguard us from discrimination. So, uh, as a woman uh, and being out in the male dominant industry like film, it, it was very hard for her to, to be where she is and she, she succeeded. Now, uh, uh, sort of probably a final question. You know, gender discrimination uh, it still occurs, especially in the office, and uh, we do know that, uh, or in, out in the corporate field. Now, how do we reduce this, if not um, end the discrimination? Is it, uh, for example, do we, does it go into things like Pay, pay and salary scales and all that? I think it's the issue of glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. But I think as far as Malaysia is concerned, we have uh, some pretty high profile women in some high profile institutions. Right. Uh, Securities Commission Chairman is a woman, Bank of Governor is a woman, mm -hmm. Vice Chancellor of UKM is a woman. Right. Uh, but there's, obviously there is discrimination, uh, maybe in a more subtle form. But I have to say that there is discrimination against men as well, especially in the media industry. I think it's quite How apparent. How so? How so? I mean, uh, <laughs> if you were to look at any of functions we go to, right, uh, 
the majority of it will be emceed by women. Okay. Uh, the majority of shows are hosted by women. Oh, that's why we can't <laughs> get jobs these days. But I think maybe that's because of the nature of the, the event. Because it could be that if it's fashion and beauty, and then naturally a woman would be yeah. invited to uh, helm. That but but again, is that discrimination by saying that no, it's a women's event? Does I it mean that? I think that in some ways in the media industry, yeah. I think you find women have the edge. I mean, I've seen it many times. Right. I was doing like business and politics reporting. Sure. You know, right. like uh, the women have a way of like quoting their heart hitting questions with like a certain sweetness. The subtlety yeah, involved, the subtlety. which men are more straightforward. By <laughs> saying that, we've also had. Uh, Sports programs, motorsports programs, which is helmed by 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 women as well. Yeah, that's true. How, how, yeah. how, what changes there? Yeah. Uh, so I think you know sometimes when we talk about like discrimination, I think gender roles have changed a lot, and sometimes I think we need to focus a little bit more about how men have been impacted by. Oh, you, know. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> it's true. It's true. He, he does have a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> Well, I guess it happens both ways, lah. You know, you talk about equality, you know, equally, you know, the men and the women do feel it after all. But um, thank you so much for, for coming on the show. Welcome. It's been a pleasure having both of you here. Thank you. Um, We're going to yeah. take a quick break and find out who's going to be on next.